Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition. I am you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box if you ever want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means this may be resonating for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two cards really coming out. We have Have Faith in Your Dreams and Prosperity Lies Ahead, Taurus Energy. Under the deck, we have Surrender to the Divine and A New Romantic Cycle Begins. It's interesting. Okay. Um... What you got going on, Scorpio? This is uh, looking good. This is looking really good. Have you been fighting a connection with somebody? Have you uh, been playing? I don't know why I keep wanting to say playing hard to get a little bit. Um, making them work for is what I'm getting. I, I don't feel like you're playing games, but it's like you're making them make make a serious effort here for you. Like somebody like really wants to date you, to get to know you, to talk to you. Like you've been wanting this. You, they had to prove their worth. That's what I'm hearing. You went through too much stuff in the past. And now they definitely got to prove to you that they they want this. Sorry. Little Yoda's head there was being blocked by a petal. And I had to fix that. Alright. What's the energy here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Decisions. About stability. Um... You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you could see yourself set up with this person. This person could be older than you. They could be very financially abundant. Um, this person, they could. you could work with this person. They could be like your boss or supervisor. Um, you got a decision to make about them. Yeah, I feel like you just got questions for this person. Like I said, making them work for it. But they're they're playing this game, though. They're like, yeah. Uh, Magician, Gemini, Virgo, energy. They're, they're going to prove it to you. Because uh, I get, with this particular card, you know, this Five of Swords, I just get, like, somebody who's kind of, like, you know, holding, holding the sword up to somebody who's kind of like, all right, no. Tell me. No games. Tell me. Talk. Speak. Prove it. I'm not going to be deceived or manipulated here. Nope. You no, You cannot fool me. So just come out with it. Just be really upfront, really honest with me. I can see through your BS. Is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing like a, you know, I've been I've I've been dealt a bad hand in the past, and I want success, love, abundance. I deserve it. I, this is going to sound really kind of strange, maybe a little bit specific, but with this magician, I'm kind of getting somebody who's got like options up before them, and they're kind of like interviewing, or I don't want to say holding auditions, but I just kind of get somebody who's like, nope, next. Like, like someone comes up to you, and they try to like ask you out or flirt with you, nope, next. <laughs> it's, I don't feel like it's quite literally, you know, people lining up one after one after one, but... Um, it's kind of like every time somebody comes, kind of comes into your energy and tries to like pursue you, you just, you're very particular and selective about who you're going to let into your energy. You know what you're looking for in a partner and you're not going to settle for less than the things that you deserve. Um, they really have to have the whole package. It's not worth your time to waste time, you know, on immature energies again. Because think maybe you've done that in the past. It's hard to catch your attention. It's hard for someone to turn your head. This person does, though. They want to fight for um, a spot with you, okay? Their thoughts, they um, feel like maybe they have to kind of beat the competition to get you. Scorpio energy, the death card. They could also be a Scorpio or have strong Scorpio in their chart. Um, or they're hoping they're, that something's going to end so they can pursue you. They think about this a lot. 
they want to transform things with you. They want to be like more than friends, more than coworkers, more than acquaintances. Like they want things to develop, to deepen their feelings. Yeah, they're like studying, like wanting to know more about you. Now, I don't, I kind of get like somebody who's uh, like looking at things that you do. Like, let's say that you are friends on social media or something. Like, they're looking at your likes, like what kind of shows you've liked, what kind of books you've liked, what kind of artists you like. You know, they're looking at like things, pages that you've liked. And it's like because they're trying to figure out like who you are, like outside of work or outside of how they normally see. they're trying to find out more information about you because they want to be able to strike up a conversation with you and I don't feel like it's to manipulate you but it's like so they can kind of figure out who you are what you like what you're interested in um and they can kind of work off of that like let's say that you're somebody who cooks they're not gonna be like oh yeah me too but they can't even like boil water <laughs> I feel like this is somebody who's kind of like I love to eat <laughs> what do you like to cook you know I, I they, they'd be, they would be honest about that but it's like they're just trying to find ways to connect with you they may even, this is really interesting, they may even, like, be using these things to, like, the information they learn about you to figure out what kind of date that they would take you on when given the chance. You, like, so you strongly could work with this person or, like, go to school with them. They may even be, like, asking people about you or, like, taking notes. Like, they hear you, like, they overhear you talking to someone and say something about, yeah, I love the movies. They may be, like, Wanted to strike up a conversation about what kind of movies you like. Um, they they may have been waiting for you to end a situation. Like if you were in a long term connection with someone, they may have kind of like sit on the sidelines waiting for their shot with you. Yeah, because they felt like you were with somebody who's very toxic, very manipulative, very controlling, and they've been waiting for quite a while for their chance with you. Like, they haven't given up on their dream, their hope to be with you. Capricorn energy here. They feel like whoever you were dealing with, you know, they, like I said, they, they were toxic and healthy. And they were waiting for that cycle to end. Some of you, this could be flipped or reversed. You know, cross watchers are welcome here. I'm getting a lot of cross watcher energy. They are wanting something to kind of clear out. They've been waiting for their chance. They want to defeat something. They want to, to be like your person. They want a new cycle with you. They want to maybe communicate with you online. They, they may not have the confidence to like reach out to you or like come up to you in person and say, hey, I've been interested in you all this time. Um, but it's like they may like message you. Cancer energy. Yeah, they're coming in with an offer. But they're, they're coming in. Like, they're going to say something. Like, can we go out? That kind of thing. They're asking you out. They want a new beginning with you. They want to open this chapter. Start to try this with you. They want to travel. They want to take you somewhere. They want to, like, show you that they're a grounded individual. They're very different from your past. Like, this is what you were dealing with in the past. This is the kind of energy they are. They're willing to take things slow if that's, if that's what you need. Um, they've been waiting for a chance with you. This definitely could be your nine of cups, what you've been hoping for, wishing for, okay? You've got a decision to make here. You're maybe a little bit hesitant, Pisces energy here, about moving toward this person, about going out with them. But I do feel like if you do, this is what you've been waiting for. There's, I mean, there's potential for growth here, okay? A new romantic cycle begins, but you have to open the door. It's kind of like if you're manifesting love, it, take it the same way. Like, let's say you ordered a pizza, <laughs> And the guy, the delivery guy gets there, but you don't open the door. Well, you know, there's only so much spirit can do. You have to meet them halfway, you know. Um, you're manifesting it. So open the door to love. Let them in. Expectation. You're waiting for this. Wealthy man. This person, like I said, it could be like a business owner. They could be like really established in their career. You've been waiting for an opportunity like this. We have courtship. Unexpected income, bad health, and imprisonment. Some of you are just really stuck in your head. Like, so you could work with this person. Um, but some of you, I feel like, I mean, first of all, you could be, money could be coming into you. You could be getting, like, a raise for some of you or, or, like, a new job opportunity. But I feel like this is, 
income, wealth, it's not just about material things. It's just not, not just about money, okay? It's like, what is of value? This could be an unexpected gift or a, a relationship, something that's, that's worth something, you know? Um, some of you are still recovering from the past. Maybe trapped in your head about this talk cycle that you that you were previously in with someone. This person here, they're like, you've been waiting for this. Here it is, okay? This this is somebody coming in that you've been like you've been looking out that window for a long time, like waiting for the right one. This is somebody who has value, wealthy man. They may like they may have financial abundance, but this is someone who actually has like character morals. You know, this is someone who's responsible and reliable, and re they're they're a king of pentacles. Okay, this is not somebody here to play with your heart. This is somebody here who's really trying to commit to this with you. They want to date you. It's a beautiful energy. Let's see if we can get some more information about this. About what's kind of going on here? Okay. What this date could be like, what you could expect from this person, what kind of how things may unfold. You may be learning a lot about this person. There could be travel here. Uh, they want to like take you somewhere. There's like an innocence to this person. This person definitely could be like an anchor for you. This could be somebody very stable, very grounded in your life. Um, I feel like you just have a lot of uncertainty here about moving forward. But there's a strong potential here for growth. And I feel that this person's very nurturing. They're very loving they're very fun they're very they may have they may have a child that could be a part of your your hesitation here uh, or you may have a child and you don't want to get hurt but i kind of feel like this person has like an innocence about them their, their soul is very pure they're very kind they're very generous they are very i kind of just get somebody who's kind of i don't want to say inexperienced but they're just not somebody who cares to play games or manipulate you know it's like what's the point they're just very up front very honest about how they feel almost like a childlike innocence about their heart like how they communicate uh like they're very open and they want to uh, move through a lot of hurdles with you like they want to, some of them may even want to have a family with you they may have dreams about traveling they may talk to you about all this but i feel like this person kind of grounds you but like i said messages are coming this person's like reaching out to you they're communicating to you they're talking to you this person you may even like need like you have questions that you want answered when it comes to this situation you may be asking your family or your friends people you work with about this person maybe uh, looking for information from people um about this, like getting to know more about this person you may have like mutual friends or connections and you're asking people or just talking to with family members or friends what do you think? Should I give this person a shot? I think that this person could truly make you really happy. But you have to open your heart to them and give them a chance. This person wants to build something really beautiful with you. I feel like there's a new cycle here. Uh, and spirits ask you to go for it, you know. This is what you've been hoping for. Um, this is new love. This is new love and it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is beautiful, beautiful energy. A new romantic cycle begins. This is movement. This is, you know, you've been hoping for this. Don't let it get away. Open your heart. Hear them out. Trust your intuition here. This is what you've been looking for. I like it. I do like this a lot. I feel like... Surrender to the divine. I feel like this is... You're going to have a hard time saying no to this person to begin with. Let me know in the comments if this is your story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. As always, I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.